What's up, guys? Justin here, aka MHero25, with a deck profile. Now, I wanted to show off this deck because I played it at my locals this weekend and I thought it was really fun because I did like a tech idea and I just wanted to play it out and see how it worked out. Um, I did. I only pulled it off once and I, it was still pretty cool, but I wanted to share with you guys and I wanted to hear your feedback and I also wanted to share it, share share this with you in case you you know found out like hey I found a way to make this better or maybe I want to try that out. Well, without further ado, here we go. So first off, the standard stuff like for dinosaurs, uh, three Oviraptor, three of Baby Cerasaurus, three Miscellaneous Cerasaurus, one Jurak Aello, and one Dogeron. Uh, now these are the stuff that I feel is standard, like you wouldn't change this at all, but that's just my opinion, and now I'm going into the cards where I kind of would like to change the numbers up. So, 3 Petite Pterodon, I might turn this down to 2 just because Baby Cerasaurus does so much is so much better, because you don't, like, if, if this deck was more like spam high, like, you know, spam 8 worthy, I would use this, but since it's like, you're, we're focusing on the lower levels, this is where it's at. Uh... Um, one Tyranno Infinity, I can, like, this, this card can be clutch, like, in the moment, like, if you need to steal a game, but at the same time, if you draw it first turn, or at any time when you draw it, it's really bad, it's not that great, so, I don't know, maybe cut this, maybe side it, I don't know. Uh, two, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, I like two, but I also see the value in one, but, you know, just having it, just having it at two seems okay, but I don't know, it just... Uh, you can search it out like by any means. So uh, now onto the true king parts. So we have three disasters, one fathomer, and one uh, vanisher. I found this ratio to be really good because uh, like you're only using you're mostly using the fire uh, the earth one the most. You might use the fire one to recycle, but the water one is really important because like if you can like pitch it, I mean if you can destroy it in your hand with either. Diagram or one of the other effects. It's really good because that's like an instant level nine you can make without having to you know use all your babies to you know help build up to that. So that's always good. Uh, now onto my spells and here's my. I just want to put this out there first. Uh, my spicy tech of the deck, three mass change second. I decided to play this in my deck because um, I was I was con I was consumed with the idea like okay if I go against Chu Draco at nationals how am I gonna beat it. Like the one thing I could, the one thing that kept on coming up is their back row. Like I can, like I can handle their monsters. You know, um, t uh, UTC already handles a, uh, um, uh, already handles a masterpiece. But I see, I just don't need their back rows coming alive. So I thought if I have this and get Darkla out, I'm gonna be fine. Now you're probably wondering, Justin, M Hero, how are you gonna get Darkla out? There's only like three darks in this deck. Not so fast. Because uh, since ultimate, since all uh, true king of all calamities is now out, you know some people use the combo to make everything earth to make nap beast. I just did the same thing with making everything dark and getting uh, dark loud, and that could be on my turn or my opponent's turn. So that that's really uh, handy. Um, I did try this out, and I'll, I'll talk about that later at the end of the video. But yeah, this is pretty fun. I only pulled it off once though, but it's pretty cool. So after the standard stuff, three fossil dig, three terraforming. And onto my field spells, I only had one diagram that I was able to get, and I'm playing two Lost Worlds. Either way, like, diagram's still really good, and Lost Worlds still really good overall. Like, I don't see a problem with this. Uh, it worked out pretty well as, uh, you know, no one, got, no one got rid of the field spell and just did work. And even when I didn't have it in my dual videos, which I'll probably, like, link in the description, they were still really useful. Uh, now, to my one-ofs, I ran one Dark Hole, one Regeki, and one Instant Fusion. Um, I like to main Dark Hole in this deck as of right now since I don't have three diagrams in case I do break um, ba uh, with some babies I can at least like do a recovery play while well, Regeki is like only like I don't know like this this is usually like a really good card but right now it's just like it doesn't gain me in any advantage and instant fusion I think at one is it one one is fine but I don't know maybe I might up it to two we'll see and then onto my trap lineup uh, one solemn warning and two and two strikes. The solemn brigade you always need it. It helps you just like keep consistency and helps beat, beat off your opponent. Uh, so that's the main deck right there. That's forty. Uh, I found it to be very consistent. Like there was never a time where I bricked, and I might make another video after this and like just show you some test hands and just so you can see like what I mean by like mass change second isn't as consistent as I thought it would be. Anyway, 
onto the extra deck. So off to our rank four toolbox, we have one Castell, never used it. Abyss Dweller, didn't use it that day, but I know it's gonna be useful later on. Uh, the Utopia package, because Utopia kills everything. Uh, so that's it for the rank four toolbox. And then two Lagia. I didn't. I decided not to run Dolka today uh, because honestly, that I didn't have enough room and I didn't know what I was gonna play against. I know. I just know Lagia is overall a better choice, and you never know. Uh, so onto my rank nines, we have uh, Phantom Fortress Inter Blacknear. Really good if you uh, against my uh, Dark Synchro player. It got it got rid of the card I could not regularly get rid of, and it was really good overall. So definitely, if you don't have one, get one for your sorry True King Dino deck. It's gonna be really useful. And then one True King of All Calamities. I've seen people run two, one. I decided to run one today and see how it felt. And honestly, all I needed was one. I never got to the point where I needed multiple, but you know this is still good. Uh, onto my synchros now. We have one Nat Beast, one Denglong, one Chanbara, and one Trishula. Now I can see why where um, people might might want to cut Chambara, but if you saw my videos, like it's so good, it just helps you go into game, it, like or into close to game, and just puts your opponent on a clock. Denglong overall does makes it easier to get into um, you know your true king of all calamities, and Nat Beast is just good lockout, and Trishula same thing as Denglong, and but it has more of a purpose. So that's it for the synchros, and now onto the fusions. So we're running one Norden and two Dark Law. Now, Norden, of course, is a staple. It helps out get out all your other plays. It can be a rank four, it can be a uh, level five synchro material, but overall it's really good. And Dark Law came out, came out, came in handy one time, and I'm glad I had it when I did, but at the same time, like, I don't know, like, like I usually go with two Dark Law because uh, that just always seems safe to me. But I would actually, if I was considering to keep playing this, I would just do one, and I don't know, just still have three uh, match in second because you just need that. You just need that. But anyway, guys, that's my deck profile. Uh, if I could say anything, a few things I would definitely change would be um, cutting out the match in seconds because the engine wasn't good enough. Because like there was no consistent way to switch it out. Like I've tried, you know, at running Shadow Mist in here at one. And this doing a, a hero lives, but doing four thousand or any half your life points just to get one card out doesn't seem worth it. And um, you know, there's like, I don't, I don't know if there's a spell out there or a card out there that says add one spell card to your hand that exists. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not going to work out. Um, and overall, the situations just never came out a lot. Like as much as you see Ovi Raptor, which is a lot, you'll never see Ovi Raptor and Mass Chains as much as you want. So. Just wanted to try this idea out, you know, sh and share it with uh, my subscribers. Maybe someone else can tweak it. Maybe someone else can find a better way to use it. Or you never know. I might run this. I might find a way to fine tune it myself, and I'll share it with you guys again. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, and please leave a comment down below. Comment down below what you think. Okay. All right. This is Justin, aka M Hero Twenty Five, signing out. Peace.